All right, let me go ahead and uh, get my guests on there. I got the homie, Younger Ty, with me. That was good, man. What's up, bro? What's up with it? Appreciate the opportunity to be able to um, come on the show tonight. Yeah, appreciate you being on. Um, I was telling people, first time I seen you perform was at Frankfurt. Um, yep, yep. It was part of an album release weekend for Hybrid the Rapper. Um, you perform on the Friday of that weekend. And that was the first time I seen you perform. Um, we kept in touch since then. You've been sending me your music through Facebook. I say one day I'm going to get this dude on the show and uh, here we are two, a little over two years later. So, uh, hey man, I appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and begin. Um, how did your, um, how did you get into the whole hip-hop thing? How did it start off for you? Um, basically, like, I, man, kid, I was raised up in a church, so like, literally, the, my house was across the street from the church, and my whole family, you know what I'm saying, went to church every Sunday, so it definitely started off with just going to church in the morning, and then, you know, watching them do their little crazy thing in the morning, and singing, and my cousin played the drum, so it was always an interest there, and I always felt like it was, you know what I'm saying, somewhere in my family, and uh, when I moved to Frankfurt, I just really didn't have a lot of contact with a lot of people, so I feel like, um, you know what I'm saying? Music was my only outlet. I feel like it was the only thing that was really listening to me, and it was the only like I feel like I could express myself without, you know, what I'm saying somebody probably judging me or you know, what I'm saying or anything like that. But so, but from there, man, I came a long way. Um, a lot of progress is in the picture. So, uh, yeah, I, I did a show with Hyper two years ago. That was like I believe that was my second performance I had ever did. Um, shout out to Hyper for you know, what I'm saying giving me that chance, that opportunity to be able to broadcast some of my talent. That man is definitely talented too. I give him you know, all the credit for um, being able to do that that night. I really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, so I got, man, I got I got an EP that I'm working on, which uh, I got about four songs that is already completed. I want to complete at least three more. I probably have like two little bonus tracks on there. It's just like a, something different, something that is really me. I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm writing music right now that I'm trying to stay relevant with everybody else, so, but at the same time, I'm going to taste of, like, my creation and who I could be, so, but I mean, I, there's a lot of things looking up, I, I mean, I just appreciate, you know what I'm saying, you give me the chance to call in, and, and you interview me and everything like that, so that's, that's so, yeah, we got a lot of things, we got a lot of things. I definitely see you on the grind doing your thing, get some music out there for people to hear, uh, shout out to Hybrid. He's definitely become one of my best friends in the local music scene. I mean, not only does he do shows, but he, you know, do showcases to get, you know, artists like you a platform to perform. And, um, you know, he's he's still going at it to this day, still putting music. And um, and I look forward to hearing this EP and, and the rest of the new music you have coming out. Um with that being said, um, do you have a name for the EP? Uh, the name for the EP, it's going to be kind of, people going to wonder, you know what I'm saying, what, what it means and what the name is. But I'm just going to kind of let it lag out there for a while. Um, and then people will kind of get the picture after, you know, cause like I said, some things are in progress and there's a lot of things happening. So I'm going to name my EP AFTAN, which is um, A-S-T-A-N. So, like I said, I know I don't have a lot of meaning now to anybody who's listening or to you, but here in a couple of months, everybody will understand, you know what I'm saying, when I do put it out, what it's about. It's definitely, it's based around my life. Um, all the music that I write is created, you know what I'm saying, around what I do on my daily basis. So, uh, yeah, so the name of the, the name of the EP is going to be Aston, and, uh, man, I just hope, you know, I, I can get everybody, you know, to listen to it and just, with that's all I want. I don't want no money, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no money, I don't want the fame or nothing like that. I just want I just want people to be able to relate to my music and be able to say, you know what, I, I feel where you're coming from. I'm not going to do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe I can help some people do the same thing, but you can tell me through my days. So yeah, my my name of the uh, EP is Aston, so everybody just be on the lookout. Go on to my uh, Facebook page at uh, Youngest, that's Y-O-U-N-G-A-T-T-A-I. Um, 
you know, find all my latest videos and um, latest posts. I try to keep everybody up as much as possible with uh, what I got going on and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so coming from me. That's that's dope, man. Everybody, keep an eye on that project. Keep an eye on him on the social media feeds. Young and Ty, definitely a name to keep an eye on in 2019, moving forward for real. Um, as far as you know, music influences or hip hop influences out there, whether it's mainstream or locally, who inspired you to be a, a hip hop artist? Um. Really, who's who's inspiring me to be a hip hop artist? Uh, it's definitely, you know, fan. It's definitely not going to be new artist. Uh, a lot, but I don't, you know, I don't know how my music kind of blends with his music. Uh, maybe like the vibe and type. He just he just his own. You know what I'm saying? Well, he just his own to be or or just the way that he he blossoms and stuff. So I used to pay a lot of attention to him. And, uh, really, he was my idol. If I ever had a chance. Do anything with anybody in the future. That would, that would be the first person I'd call on. Really, um, really thank you for that. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, so that's my idol right there. And uh, local artists. I mean, there's not no really local artists that I look up to too much because, like I said, I I, I feel like I have a different vision than all of them. Um, not just saying that you know, because we're all, not saying that I'm different or I'm better than anybody. That's not what I'm trying to say. I just feel like I got a different vision. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to write a book. I mean, I got that in the process, and I also want to drop a movie too. So I just got so many things that is in my mind that I'm trying to process and um, and get out there visually. It's a way for me to get my foot in the door. But uh, if I have to say any local artist, I would definitely have to give Hopper. You know what I'm saying? The props on that because he's consistent. That's like the most consistent person I've ever seen. Locally. He's always dropping something or I mean he's just he just you know, uh, did a movie. I mean, that's that's crazy for him, that's not good for him. And uh that's the shout out to him. So I mean he's crazy for him. Uh, consistency is what you today's life and that's what you build, you know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. Consistency is what you where you're trying to go. So shout out to bro and shout out to Fat Joe, man. Yeah, what I like about Fat Joe is that, you know, for a guy like him, he's been around since the 90s and his longevity you know he's been managed to to stick around for as long as he have and, and still have the the the, the, the love of hip-hop and wanting to put music out um it's long, long I definitely like oh, man. i'm sorry i definitely feel like he's a that he carries himself he's not you know he's He's not somebody who stays in the mainstream or who he's worried about, you know what I mean? Because he's worried about doing his own type of what he's trying to, and what Fat Joe has, you know what I'm saying, visualized instead of what he's trying to make people think. Um, and just trying to stay relevant to today. He just carries himself in a completely different manner. And I'm, I'm just the same type of person. I feel like he can carry the music in his life. And plus, you know what I'm saying, I, he's really lived that gangster life in his you know what I mean? And, and not that he's, he, he's completely changed. I feel like I was the same way. I was going through the same thing. I, like, I, I did some of the most dangerous things, but I'm changed. You know what I mean? And I, I just, I'm, I'm humbled. I humbled myself so much off this, you know, things that I went through in life. Like, you know, Fat Joe's the same thing. So, um, uh, him having his troubles, you know, with the police and him losing a big son and, you know what I'm saying? So, group falling apart, but he's still, you know, man, maintaining their life and strong, so. Absolutely true. Um, well, Atad, it was great having you on the show. Um, thank you so much for your time. Uh, continue, looking forward to hearing more from you and you continue to develop and everything. And I look forward to this EP that you have coming out. Um, and again, thank you, thank you for being on and um, you enjoy the rest of your weekend, man. Yes, sir. Like I said, everybody, go and uh, go follow Young Atad. That's Y O U N T. A T T A I at Facebook or on um, SoundCloud or YouTube. You'll see some of my music. And um, like I said, if you go to Facebook, I'll most definitely keep everybody updated on uh, visual videos and stuff that I got coming soon. Thank you, Kenny, for the opportunity, man. Yes, sir. All right, you too. Bye, bye, bye.